The federal government filed suit last year challenging the Chamorro Land Trust Act as racially discriminatory because only Chamorros, they argue, can benefit from the lease of Chamorro Land Trust lands. The U.S. Attorney General is seeking to overturn the law or open the leasing to non-Chamorros as well. Attorney Michael Phillips, who helped craft the CLTC law, is assisting Guam's AG in the case. He says it's a complicated history, but it's not about race. It's about a class of people Congress itself established. It's in one swoop of a pen. Everybody on Guam at that time, no matter what your, your race was, became a, a U.S. citizen. And the term used Chamorro, the judge made a big uh, issue about that. The term is used Chamorro, but the definition is really a political definition. That is, that's really our argument. Further, Assistant AG Ken Orkut argues Congress not only created the class, the Land Trust Act also provides them with an opportunity for legal redress. This is a classification based upon Organic Act citizenship. And the people that are entitled to receive benefits under the Chamorro Land Trust Act are people who are basically descendants of people who had their land taken by the federal government in the years immediately after World War II, basically between 1944 and 1950. Judge Mulway took the matter under advisement, but also urged the sides to consider a settlement. But that's not currently under consideration, and Orcott says that will be up to the next administration to decide. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.